Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for the Bible study tonight. We bless your name for gathering us together. We pray that you speak to our hearts now as we look into your word. We are praying, O oh Lord, that your spirit will impress the truth upon every heart present here tonight. In Jesus' name. And we pray, O oh Lord, that none of us will allow your word to fall to the ground. But that your word will search us and find us out. And as it finds us out, O Lord, we'll open ourselves to the blood of Jesus Christ so we can be thoroughly washed in Jesus' name. We'll pray that you prepare us before you come today so that when you come or when you call we'll be ready to meet you face to face thank you father because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray our bible study tonight brings us to revelation chapter 2 verses 12 through to 17. Revelation chapter 2, reading from verse 12 to verse 17. Open your Bible as we read together. And to the angel of the church in Pagamos, write, These things saith he, which has the sharp sword with two edges. 
ati si angeli ijo ni pagamu ko we nkan won ile eni ti o ni da mimu oloju meji ni wi pe i know thy works where thou dwellest where even where satan's seat is and thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith even in those days wherein antipas was my faithful martyr who was slain among you where satan dwelleth emi mo ise re ati bi ti iwo ngbe ani bi ti te satan wa ati pe iwo di igbagbo ati pe iwo di oruko mi musisin ti iwo ko si se igbagbo mi li ojo won ni ninu eyi ti antipa ise olooto ajere ku mi eni ti won pa ninu yin ni bi ti satan ngbe but i have a few things against thee because thou hast them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. Subamu ni nkan die wi si o nitori ti iwo ni awon ti o die eko ti Balaam mu nibe eni ti o ko Balaku lati mu ohun ikose wa siwajo awon omo Israeli lati ma je ohun ti aparubo si orisa ati lati ma se agbere. So as thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which sin I hate. Beni was in near what you buy call and one Nicolaitan Ipelu, own Timo Corira. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Runupuada, because a bear, a mutual one is to say ye, a mutual da, a mutual feed, I know me, Bamaja. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to it of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that he receiveth it. And it's your bad lady, Kyoba, on Tia, Miss of one way, John. And it's your bad second lady, your female, Tio Pama Funje, a music for Leo Kutafu Funkon, at the Sarah Kutana, or Rukoti, Tia Kosi, Tia Nikaniti. It is very significant that the church at this time is studying the book of Revelation. When you talk of something as a revelation, it means it was hidden, it was covered, it was like a mystery, it was unknown. But now, by the Spirit of God, it is revealed and opened and unveiled for you to see very plainly and very clearly. O nkan je efihan o tun ma si bi ati fi pamọ nigba kan ri o wa ni ikoko ko wa ni ni gbangba ni bi ti oju gbogbo eniyan to ti le eto sugbon baye a wa si paya afihan fun gbogbo eniyan lati le re and there are three areas of things that are revealed in the book of revelation ori si awon kan meta si ni afihan ninu iwe efihan the first part of the revelation is revelation chapter 1 jesus christ had ascended and gone to heaven the disciples knew that Jesus was now sitting at the right hand of majesty on high. But what does he look like? How about his power? How about his authority? How about the very fact that now he reigns over heaven and over all things? What is the difference between his state now, his condition now, and the condition he was when he walked the streets of Galilee? Little did they know the high position, the high authority of Jesus Christ, even though he had told them, All authority on earth and in heaven is given unto me. Dear Ninkato Yewan, Nipaipa, Agbara, Atiti Tobire, both legs, the quality soft one teller, Ipe, Bobo Agbara, Leo Ratilia, Lea Fifumi. You would have thought that John the Beloved, because he leaned on the bosom of Jesus Christ, because he saw him when he rose from the dead, because he was right there when Jesus was being taken to heaven, you will think that he knew everything about Jesus Christ in his present state, condition, and in his present authority. Wale, Ipe, Boya, Joan, Olufe. 
ife e tu e po ma nro gun si aya Jesu Oluwa eni to sun ma pe kipe ki nigba to wa ninu aye eni to ri nigba to jinde kuro ninu oku wa le o pe bo yawo ma iru ipo olanla ati agbara ati ipo ti a se logo to wa leyin gba to jinde kuro ninu oku to gokere oro ni but you see when the revelation of who Jesus is came to him in chapter 1 it was a, a revelation that knocked him down sugbon nigba ti o wa ri ifihan Jesu Oluwa pelu gogo ogo ati olanla re ogo ye obulu to be ga to pe osubulu le in chapter 1 verse 17 ori kini ese keta di ni ogun and when i saw him i fell at his feet as dead and he laid his right hand upon me saying unto me fear not i am the first and the last nigba ti mo ri mo wo le le ese re bi eni ti oku o si fi owo oto re lemi o n wi fun mi pe ma beru emi ni eni isaju ati eni ikeyin you see john could have said i know jesus o je o je mo pe johanu le tu wi pe mo mo jesus in fact a little time before this time he wrote in the epistle of first john he said him that we know that we have handled we declare unto you he thought he knew jesus but now a revelation came and it knocked him down wa ro pe boya joanu o ti ma jesu daradara tele ni o ti e le ri ninu awon epistle ti joanu ti o ti ko o ni eni ti awa mo o ti awa ti gbamu o ti awa ti ri o n soro be eni po ni idan loju lakoko igba na sugbon nigba to ri ninu ogo nla re bayi o wo le lese re bi oku you see if you have a little revelation of jesus christ at salvation you think you have known jesus all through and through o je ma pe nigba ti o ba mo jesu ninu iriri igbala wa ro pe o ti mo jesu patapata ni but when the spirit of the living god begins to take the things of Christ and it begins to reveal unto you it knocks you down so much you begin to pray like Isaiah until your inner nature your inner man is now purged and you are sanctified so man ngati aba tun fi Jesu Christi han o jile ju be lo wa wo lule wa ri igbe aye re iwo pa pa yesu wa kigbe gege bi Isaiah tititi a fi fowo kan inu re lohun ta o si sise iya nu kan you see a person that has had that adamic nature uprooted and has known Jesus Christ now in brighter light he thinks i know jesus iru eni to si wa ma jesus ninu iriri so di mima e to wa wi pe ati so kan mi di mima a wi pe mo ti ma jesus and yet when you come to that point where the spirit of god comes fully upon you overwhelms you anoints you saturates you and you are filled with the spirit of god and then when the spirit is come he will show you things belonging to me and he reveals christ to you more then it's like you even never met jesus christ before nigba ti o ba si wa test wa ju ta wa tu agbara emi olorun le olori ta fi kun o ta fi wo ti agbara orun to de nu aye re iwo pa pa wa si wa ro ninu ru akoko na wi pe o mo jesus be and yet you see even after you are baptized in the holy ghost there are there are times in god's own wisdom in god's own favor where if you are waiting upon him if you are crying unto the lord if you are seeking to know the lord more and more that i may know him and the power of his resurrection if you really want to know him a time comes from time to time when he is revealed unto you and every revelation of Jesus Christ when you see him afresh just knocks you down nigba ti o ba si wa tesi waju bayi boye o tun wa fe ma oluwa si o lo si waju oluwa o bere fun o wa oluwa gidigidi pelu gbogbo ipa re nigba ti o si wa ri ogo oluwa ti oluwa fara han o iri to to ri o tun fara han lona ogo lona ogo miran lona iyanu miran o si wa da be ni pe oko ti e ti mo ri tele and yet do you know that as you look at the whole book of the revelation as you, as you go away from chapter 1 and get into chapters 2 and 3 and 4 when you come to chapter 5 then you see jesus christ more you come to all those chapters you see jesus christ more and you come to chapter 20 chapter 21 chapter 22 and you see jesus like you have never seen him in his authority and glory this book point one is to reveal jesus to the church more nigba ti o ba si wa bere ni ka ninu iwe ifihan nigba to ba ri ninu ogo re ni ori ikini nigba to ba tun wa ntesi wa to tun ka to tun wa ri ni ori ikarun wa tun ri ogo re to tun gaju e to ti ri tele lo nigba to ba ka ori ogun ori ikokan le logun ori ikeji le logun ba kan na ni wa tun ma ri jesus ninu ogo olanla re si iwe yi o wa lati le fi jesus han o si waju si chapters 2 and 3 uh, they form the second part of the book ori ikeji 
And he's talking about the church. Again, you will see that everything we read in these two chapters is a revelation concerning the church. It tells us the present condition of the church and it tells us what the church really ought to be in the sight of God. It tells, it tells us some hidden things like sin, like blemish, like spot, like dirt, like stain that had been in some of these churches that their leaders did not know. Their pastors did not know until the revelation came unto them. And you see from church to church, Christ began to make a revelation of the present state and condition of those churches. This, these churches had been established. There are areas and items of worship activities were going on. And many of those churches were fervent. And they were expecting the coming of the Lord. Thinking that if the Lord will come, everything was alright. Until the revelation came to them concerning their spiritual stage and condition. And you see that is like for the individual in the church. The average Christian in the church thinks that he's alright. Everything is going on fine. He is born again. He has his foundation in Christ. He is carrying on Christian activities until the Spirit of God begins to reveal your heart, your attitude, your thought, your disposition, your relationship, your interaction with other people unto you, until the Spirit of God begins to reveal to you the things that must be corrected so that you can be an overcomer. You will not know really who you are and how you are. Opolopo awo ni ba watu wasi wa ni ijo oloje pe one row pe awo ti dro dara dara ipo ti awo wa ipo ti dara one test waju one si chef oluwa one kufu oju se ti ti di ba ti emi olorun to ba to awo wa to fi aye one hon hon awo ebon awo alebo iba bi awo ese to wa ni no aye one ni ba to ba fi hon hon ni ba na ni one mo. The third part of the book of Revelation is from chapter 4 to chapter 22. It gives us the great revelation of the great tribulation. You see the average man, whether in the church or outside the church, doesn't foresee the evil, the calamity. The rules, the indignation of God that is coming upon this world just after the church has been taken away at the time of the great tribulation. No man can, no man can see it except by revelation. That's exactly why we're given this revelation in this book. The attitude of the average person in the church, I mean church at large now, and the attitude of the average person in the world is that since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Little does the average man know that just before the final end of all things will come, there's going to be a time of the great tribulation when the wrath of God, the indignation of the Almighty, will be poured upon the world without measure. 
dokun tan palapata ipe irunu ati ibinu ati idaje olorun ni oluwa yo da sori aye ta wa ninu re yi how could anybody know of those things that are going to happen at the great tribulation without revelation bawo ni enikan se le mo nti yo sele ninu ipanju nla biru eni be ko ba ka ninu ifi han how could anybody know of the coming of a personality that is called the antichrist another one the false prophet and the beast the three of them joining together to cause real trouble for Israel and the world how could anybody know without revelation bawo ni eniyan kan se le mo pe iru e da kan yo wa nigba ti o ba se ti a o ma se aso di si christi ati woli eke ati eran ko ni e ti we pe yo fara la koko igba kan nigba to ba ya la je peru eni be ba ka ninu iwe ifi han how could anyone know of that decisive terrible great battle the battle of armageddon that is going to take place when everything is about to come to a conclusion how could the average person even a so called christian how could he know without revelation bawo ni opolopo eniyan ninu ijo tabi ninu aye bawo ni won se ma oye nkan fi e pe yo sele pa pa julo ni pa ogun lani ti yo sele ta ma se ogun amagedoni bawo la sele mo ni pa ileyi lai je pe a ba ko ninu iwe ifi that great day of the white throne judgment when all people that ever live when they will come before god and the books will be opened and everyone will be judged according to the things that are written in that book how could anybody guess how could anybody think that such a time of judgment is going to come when people will be finally completely abandoned to where they will be for eternity at the great white throne judgment how could anybody guess such a thing will take place without revelation bawo ni enikan se le mo pe ojo nla kan bo ni ike ni gba o se nigbati idajo lori itefunfun yo waye nigbati a o di oluku ta o se dajo fun olukuluku gege bi ise re yo ti ri ta o si iwe kan sile ta o si ye igbe aye olukuluku lati nu iwe wonye bawo ni enikan yo se mo pe ojo na nbo ti pe a o ya eniyan ni papatapata kuro lodo olorun lai je pe ru eni be o ba ka o si keke ninu iwe ifi han as you look at the description of the new heavens and the new earth and the beauties and the glories of the eternal state and what will be to the overcomers to the christians to the followers of christ how they will reign with christ as you read that you just say the only way we can know this is by revelation that's exactly the reason why we're given this last book of the bible called the revelation and the revelation of jesus christ nigba ti abaka ninu iwe ifi han nigba na la ore orun titun ati aye titun la ore gbogbo ogo ati ewa ati ola nla to wa ninu ilu ologo nla na la je pe aba ka ninu iwe ifi han bawo ni o ti se se fun wa lati re iwe eleyi i told you all that to tell you this that any time you study the book of revelation remember it should be revealing something to you tori nkan to fa ti mo fi so ile ifun oni pe ni gba ku gba to ba nka lati ninu iwe ifi han se ni o wa lati le ifi on kokon han o today we come to revelation concerning a particular church loni a wa si ifi han ni party ijo kan and it is this church in pagamos o si je ifi han ni pa ijo ni pagamu and this church the revelation concerning this church is to reveal yourself to you as an individual is to reveal yourself to you maybe as a worker a member in the church is to reveal the church to us as a local church and is to reveal the state of the church to us as the visible church in a global manner ngba ti abi as se nkeko nipa ti ijo yi o wa lati le fi ara wa han wa gege bi enikokan pa kana lo wa lati le fi han o ipoya o je o si se ninu ijo pa kana o si wa lati le fi han wa gege bi ijo to wa ni agbegbe kan ati lati le fi ijo kari aye lapapo ta le fojuri lati le fi han wa and revelation always brings an effect upon the person to whom the thing is being revealed ifi han o si sa ba ma ni awon ipa kan to ma to ma se ninu aye ni ta ba fi han fun when when god revealed this might to Jeremiah in the Old Testament you look at Jeremiah and you can see the effect the impact of that revelation upon him nigba ti o ba wo Jeremiah ninu ma je mu lai lai o le ri pa ati onti ifi han ye to se ninu igbe aye Jeremiah look at I say when the curtain was lifted a little bit and he saw the holy of holies and he saw God and he saw the train of the angels and he had what they were shouting and singing it had an impact an influence upon him nigba ti aka so ikele na kuro ti isaiah te si 
wa ri awuran orun to ri ogun olorun to ri awon angel ti won se nke ti won kibe niwaju olorun ari pe ngba to wu awon nkan won ye o ni ipa to ko ninu igbe aye re daniel had been praying and then that angel came to him to reveal unto him the things that shall befall his people and when daniel received that revelation if you read the book of daniel it had such uh, an unforgettable impact upon daniel you will know that he got a revelation from above ba kan na to ba wo gbe aye daniel nigba ti a fi han fun nkan ti o wa sele si awon eniyan re ari pe ngba to ri eleyi o mu iyi pada nla kan wa si ni igbe aye re ti wa si le mo pe ni toto eni yi o ni ifi han so when you really study the book of revelation it has such an impact upon you that we will know that you have got a revelation from god ba kan na nigba ti wo pelu ba ni ifi han yo ni pa kan ti yo se ninu aye re ta o mo pe ni toto ori ifi han now let us look in particular into this uh, into this message for the church of pagamos that we're looking to the lord today to give us a revelation concerning our hearts concerning our lives concerning our family concerning our local district church concerning the church at large and as you study this together with me tonight your prayer while you are hearing the word of god silently quietly you should be praying oh god give me that revelation show me that revelation something hidden in these verses something hidden in this passage that i need to know that need to have an impact upon my life give me that revelation otherwise if you don't have a revelation through this we study in vain bi a si se nke ko yi laleyi yo dara ki o ma gbadura je je ninu okan re lohun ki se pe wa gba so ke sugba ninu re lohun pe o ma so fun olohun pe oluwa bi mo se nke ko yi wa la mi loju wa fun mi ni ifi won je ki e ko yi ko ni papata kan ti yo ko ninu igbe aye mi bi o ba ri be a je pe akeko lasan point 1 the prince of life savior and judge ipa koko omo aladeye olugbala ati onidajo looking at revelation chapter 2 verse 12 if you are ori ikeji ese ikeji la and to the angel of the church in pagamos right these things says he which has the sharp sword with two edges ati si angel ijo ni pagamu ko we nkan won yi le eni ti o ni da mimu oloju meji ni wi pe what a revelation iru ifi han la wo jesus christ was on earth the disciples never associated him with a sword nigbati jesus wa ninu aye awon ome yin won ko le si akawe nkokan nipa ida pelu jesus when jesus christ was to be arrested and betrayed into the hands of wicked people you remember one of his disciples that through that uh, brought out a sword and cut off the ear of the uh, servant of the high priest and Jesus said put your sword back they never associated Jesus with a sword nigba ti a fe mu Jesus nigba ti an fi esun kan ko to di pe won mo lo si tori agbelebu lati lo pa ari pe nibe ikan ninu awon omo eyin re o fa ida yo o ge omo odo lori alufa kan leti o mu eti na o fi pada sibe ari pe awon omo eyin won oro pe Jesus o ni nkan kan se pelu oro ida all they associated Jesus with was with love and mercy and multiplying bread and getting money out of the mouth of the fish and feeding the hungry and healing the sick and being gentle and lowly and carrying the children upon his shoulder and blessing them that's the association they had with Jesus on ti won mo jesus mo o ni ife anu bi pese fun awon alai ni riran awon elumiran lowo bi bi awon mo kekeke ko gbo won si aya re ati awon ko bayi ni won mo jesus mo here comes the revelation that jesus christ is he that has the sharp sword with two edges ni hi lati wa fi jesus han won pe o ni eni na to ni da mimu oloju meji lowo and look at revelation chapter 1 verse 16 se wo iwe ifi han ori ikini ese ikerin de logun and he that and he had in his right hand the seven stars and out of his mouth went a sharp two edged sword and his countenance was as the sun that shineth in his strength o si ni irawo mejeli owo otun re ati lati enun re wa ni da oloju meji mi mu ti jade oju re si da bi orun ti o nfi agbara re ran have you seen that revelation concerning jesus christ o ati ri iran yi nipa jesus bi those who use the sword they handle it with their hand 
But then he had this sword coming out of his mouth. What a revelation. And in Revelation chapter 19, chapter 19, reading from verse 15, here we are told the place of that sword. And, and the use of that sword and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that, that with it he shall smite the nations and that he shall rule them with a rod of iron and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of the almighty God and the this sword were told as two edges. As of my pay day, one edge were told in this verse 15 is that it shall smite the nations. As of my pay, oh, you can know it. Oh, a lot of his son and Now, what do you use a sword to do? Kill on time feed, I say. You use a sword to cut. And so one edge of the sword of Jesus, if you allow him, if you permit him, if you own him as your Lord and Savior, is to cut you away from your sin and give you salvation. That is the edge of the sword coming from Christ that make that pierces you, that cuts you, that makes you to begin to cry because of your sin. And you want the Savior, you want the Lord. Because this sword, this word has affected you so much, you want to part from your sin. Ida oju kan ye nigba ti ti oju kan ida e to ba ba o wa ni ogbe ninu okan re wa ni ibanu je wa fe yi pada kuro ninu ese yo mu gogo abawon ati ese to wa ninu aye re kuro wa si fe ni gege bi oluwa ati olugbala re that's why we're told in hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 ele lo fa ti a fi ri ninu iwe iwe eberu ori ikere ese ikeji la for the word of god is quick and it is powerful sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and it's a designer of the thoughts and intents of the heart nitori oro olorun ye o si le agbara o si moju ida kida oloju meji lo o si ngun ni ani titi de pinpin okan ati emi niya ati orike ati ora inu egungun but if you do not submit to the convicting power of the word of the sword of the spirit of the word of God to cut you away from your sin the final day will eventually come when that same word the authority of Christ as the final judge will cut you away from God in eternity eternally you'll be away separated from the almighty god ti o ba gba ida oluwa laaye lati sise ninu okan re lati sise ninu aye re lati mu gbogbo awon ese ati aban to wa ninu aye re lati mu kuro ki o si di oluwa ati olugbala re ojo kan bo eti se ojo ikeyin nigbati ida na ni oju keji re and no one that has not been saved will escape the edge of that sword to cut him away from the Almighty God on that day. All those who die in sin, all those who die in their backsliding, in their blasphemy, all those who die in their rebellion, all those who die without giving themselves to God in repentance on that final day the sword of the almighty will cut them away from the peace of god from the goodness of god from all the enjoyment that we have with god in eternity to spend their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone Yosi yapa kuro lodo olorun kuro 
ninu anu ati ibuku ati ayo olorun titi ayiraye Now let us go to point 2 Pagamos the official capital of Asia Minor Ipa ikeji Pagamu olu ilu iha kekere Asia The Lord Jesus Christ gives us some revelation concerning this city I want you to look at it from verse 12 and verse 13. And to the angel of the church in Pagamos write. Then in verse 13, I know thy works where thou dwellest. Even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest past my name and hast not denied my faith even in those days wherein Antipas my, was my faithful martyr who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. <laughs> Now we learned something about Pagamos. It was a sinful city. It was a Satan influenced, Satan controlled city. It was a city that Satan had a special interest. He put his headquarters there. Jesus himself said, Where Satan's seat is. Ilu Pagamo, Oje, Ibiti, Satan, Tony, Fessy, Tosi, Babu, Joko, Tofisi. We're told of many places that Satan goes up and down, to and fro. But in this case of Pagamos, it wasn't just going up and down, to and fro. It was where Satan dwellers. And therefore, because Satan was there, you will find that his characteristics and his power and his corruption and his evil and the darkness and the occultism surrounding Satan will also be in that place like in no other place. In fact, historians tell us that the coins that they used in Pagamos, the coin had an emblem, a symbol, super in the superscription on that coin, and it was a god of a particular, that is the idol, dedicated to a particular thing, and they were worshipping that idol there. At less of my penny, no, oh, yo, it took a pay one nanny, do not one say a colleague on one event in Cocoa to Equa Yatia Ya, we run it. Sarah, what you want now? A lace girls in it. The historians have told us that at that time, Pagamos was the center of four pagan cults. It was the seat of blasphemous emperor worship. And yet, learn something here. That Christ at a church in that place. Isn't it a wonderful thought that no matter how demonic, no matter how sinful, no matter how satanic, no matter how corrupt a particular community may be, it is worthy of know that Christ can have a church there if he could have a church in Pagamos. Not only that, there was a minister that accepted the call of God to be in Pagamos. He knew it was where Satan's seat was. If he didn't know, Christ told him that Satan dwelt there. And yet this man referred to as the messenger or the minister or the angel of the church in Pagamos. He accepted the call of God to be in that place and keep on taking care of the church of God in that place. Christ 
There are some people that will reject the call of God once they hear information that there is a witch in the community, there is a cult in the community, or there is a shrine where they worship idol in that community, and then they will say that there are so many attacks and many afflictions and things walking about in their bodies, and the oppression is so much, and therefore they will say, well, post me to another place. I cannot be a pastor. I cannot be a leader. I cannot be a preacher in this community because this is the very seat and the headquarters of a particular cult or secret organization. Jesus had a faithful leader here that accepted to be the leader, the pastor of that church in Pagamos, even though it was a city referred to as a seat of Satan. Back on our low year from a Latin, my pay, Erasio Lua clown, Ipe, Owa, Nihi, and while Lumra was here, what you buy, Pio Lua, Nibati Abasi, Roma, Latin Losania, Ujoko, Latin Loja, Isel Lua Nibe, you run away, Nabia, and what you bought, we pay our Jawambe, Egbiawo, at a book for Owambe, back on our Borisa, Owambe, EBT, Ramilo, Oku, Wabuburu, Ati, Waipa, Suma Sibe, Sibe, Ari Peru, and we never want to go, Latin Losibe, Suma, Ari, Erasio Lua. So, I'll read your pagamo, you both let the page on a boo, Ibe Buru, at the page OJ, Joko Satani, Obalatis, Chef Oluan. What a challenge if you are made a house fellowship leader. And in that same very house, you know that there are some things taking place in one of the rooms there or in the backyard there. You don't pack up and say there cannot be house fellowship there. If a church could be in Pagamos, where Satan's seat is, there can be a house fellowship in that place. O sile ti adari dapo jule ko si je pe ninu ile to tin se dapo jule yi bo yo gbo pe aje wa nibe tabi egbe okunkun o wa nibe ko ye ko ike ru o ba o lati wa ninu iru ile be tabi ko tori e ko pale dapo jule re mo nibe ari eni yi o wa nibiti satan in be in the district in which you are maybe there is a hotel there maybe there is a prostitution kind of center there maybe there is an occultic center there maybe there is an organization of witches and wizards there maybe the masquerades are you know taking their things there all surrounding your local assembly your local church you can see things that symbolize satan representing satan can you say then well we cannot have a district church here because look at the things surrounding us if Christ at a church and if that church at a leader in the city of Pagamos where Satan dwelleth, we can have a church in that locality. Back on our lost leg, Japanese at the bay, BBTO, near Kuni, Boya, and Elioti, and one shower, and one leg bell cocoon. Only one one cut off my pay a sue, or one nipple, and one go and one see a worry. Oh, I have one lot of people, ya, enjoy a cocoon, a drossy baby, a re, you pay a job, or one in Pagamo, Nibiti Satan in Bay. Point number three is talking about. The steadfastness of this church. Let's look at verse 13. I know thy works where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. Thou and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith. Again, Again, I want you to realize the condition in this city, Pagamos. I want you to understand that where Satan's seat is, all his emissaries, all his messengers will be making fun of sound doctrine, will be making fun of righteous living, will be making fun of steadfast endurance following after the Lord. In fact, Jesus Christ himself revealed it wasn't just making fun of them, it wasn't just abusing them, it wasn't just uh, bearing false witness against them, it was even killing them because there was one of their members, Antipas that was killed in a violent way because of the persecution. At least of my peki, you can say one to one chef, ki can say one yo to su the si won, ki can say boya one selo the si won tabi won se nuni bi won inu ni bi ni si won nikan. Sugbon atun so fun pe antipa okan ninu won papa se ni won pa. And yet we are told of this minister that he held fast to the name of the Lord. Sibe as of my pay, Rosia Lua ye, O Diruko Lua Musisi, and that he did not deny the faith. 
What a revelation. There are some women that will tell us that because of how hot their family is, because of how uncompromising, unyielding, un understanding their husbands are, it is not possible for them to hold fast to the teaching of the word of God. They say if you know the condition of my family, if you know the things that I face, well, you will not be just applying all the Bible concerning worldliness, concerning dressing, concerning jewelry, concerning sanctification, concerning forgiveness, concerning love, concerning an upright life. You will not just be applying that to me. I want to do it. It's not my fault. If I were free like you are free, I also want to stand in the doctrine of the word of God. But because of my situation, that is why I cannot stand. That's the excuse. <laughs> Yes, women that will tell us yes they are born again and they know the word of God they know what the word of God says concerning all these things you are talking about but you know being a secretary in my place of work if you knew my boss if you knew also other secretaries if you know the competition if you know if you are going to get promotion the way you ought to appear in fact that is a code that is the way they say everybody must appear i know the word of god at least i can read i know the standard that is required of me but you know because of my place of work i cannot take my stand awon obirin miran wa ti won so ipe gbogbo nkan te nso nipa ibayere igbe aye iwa mimo ka gbegbe aye iwon tun won si ati irele won ye mo gbo ni toto mo ti e nfe lati se won sugbon to ba ma ru ibi ti mo tin sise iru ifagagbaga to wa nibe iru oga to wa nibe iru nkan to gbodo se to ba nfe igbega ninu iru ibi se beyen o lo fa to bi da be ni pe mi o le gbegbe aye mi gege bi nkan te nfi han fun mi yi some people tell us that because of the family they come from Therefore, they cannot keep to the standard of the word of God in marriage. Because in that family, you have to make this sacrifice and make that sacrifice and make that other one. If you don't, at least in a, in a little way, bend to what they are saying. What they are going to do is that they are going to reject you from being a child in that family. And if you see the fire, if you see the opposition, if you see all the jests, all the things that they have been saying against me. In fact, you know, even as you say that I'm not measuring up to Line, they are still calling me fanatical. What if I measure up to line? What are they going to call me? And when you run back on the ones that you know where bit moti jadewa oje bitu yake o lekmaro uwa kosi ba milaye lati tele oluwa tokon tokon ni nuru ebi be wan la wan iru batu wan manche awan uri satu wan mambo to ba ziti duro ni duro pe oko ba oluwa gopo ni lawa si gopo awan ibori sabe se ni wan kwenu lati pe wan wan liye jade kwenu ni nwe binye pe oki shara awan ebi wan man njo ti ema ipe pelu gopo yi moti ya tisen binye jo ti me oti de ojo sunwa te fe ki nde yi njo jama kwa wato nko mini ala kata kiti iru awan ene be kosi ni le do nwa ro lawa there are people that tell us that you know the bible says pray without season and I want to pray. I want to be prayerful but you know, it, when I pray my people who are idol worshippers, they come to tell me that if you continue praying like that you are destroying our idol and because of what you are doing you are fighting us indirectly by your prayer. We are going to fight you and then you say, the more I pray this thing will knock me in the head in the night they will carry me from one place and dr drop me inside the sea but the more I pray, the more I I have and so I've learned now to manage myself very well. I see that if I don't pray, no trouble. My people are not going to make any trouble if I don't pray. My trouble only comes when I pray. So now, no prayer in the house, no prayer even in the church because they appear to be trailing my steps. And if I, when I really pray fervently that night, I will know what my eyes will see. They say it is because of that attack. 
And because they dwell in their family where Satan's seat is, they say that is why they cannot pray as God wants them to pray. Bakana brothers and sisters see this uh, pastor here this leader here in the church at uh, Pagamos we are told that even though it was a place where Satan's seat is and where Satan dwelleth Jesus commended him and said you have held fast to my name and you have not denied my faith. No, not even when the persecution was so fierce and tense that Antipas was killed among you. Nihi la rike oluwa onbi orinyi fun oyonansi oluwa te wa ni ijo pagamu ye ni biti satani ngbe kwe lugo kwa anwa iwa ika ati iwa buburure. Oluwa se ngbe orinyi fun wikwe oni iwa di oruko omi musisi iwa kosi se iwa gbo omi ni bati ino ni bini na ato ti e muna debi kwe se nwa mu Antipas tu wa pa sibe sibe odro ni no iwa gbo omi u se oruko omi. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 14 Eberu ori ikeri ese ikeri la Hebrews chapter 4 verse 14 Eberu ori ikeri ese ikeri la Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens Jesus the son of God let us hold fast our profession Nje bi ati ni olori alufa nla kan ti o ti la awon orun koja lo Jesus omo olorun e je ki a di jewo wa musisin you have made a profession that Jesus Christ is your savior your only savior well when difficulty comes let us hold fast that profession o ti jewo ijewo igbagbo pe Jesus ni oluwa ati olugbala re nigbati ipanju tabi wa alabade di jewo na musisin since you came to the Lord Jesus Christ you have professed and you have made a public profession Jesus is now my provider it is not the sin partner it is not the adulterous man it is not the adulterous woman it is not that other side hold fast to that profession maybe you are poor maybe you are hungry maybe you are persecuted let us hold fast to the profession we have made that come what may Jesus is my provider nigbati o gba oluwa gbo o so pe Jesus ni oluwa ati olugbala re nigbati wa ala tabi ipanju tabi aini bade o gboro di jewo na mu ki o di mu sisin what is your profession? Your profession is that Jesus is a great physician. When sickness comes, your people will like you to go and see the man at the bar beach, or to see the woman at the backyard there, or to see another person there that will join this and this together and be able to make some concoctions for you. Other people have drunk that uh, concoction and they were all right. Hold fast to your profession that Jesus is a great physician. Didn't you make the profession that Jesus will supply all my need according to his riches in glory? Now they tell you that if you are going to have promotion in that place of work, you'll go and see your boss in the home and whatever he wants, because that's the only way. And you know the condition in which we are now. You know, you know the country yourself. You are not a little boy or little girl. You know what to do. That if you pour water, then you'll be able to step on a fresh uh, wet ground. But you say, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go that wrong direction. My profession is that Jesus Christ will promote me. Promotion does not come from the west or from the east, north or south. But promotion comes from God. He sets up one, he puts down the other. Boy, I need be sure. Oh, fake. Big girl, no say. I want to be same girl. No one see less. So from where we are, oh, man, be wanting to say ni. Oh, we are lost. See, oh, gang, we are lost. See, oh, gang. On contour, gaba is so from where we are. 
you won't know, say, Oh, but that means why you all oh, relate to today. My Thomas or Runka Bell for Mirua, Coco Bell, God or T, Jawa to Jawa Pay, Jesu, only old Lupesemi, only old Begami, or Long Loman Beniga, to my Bian Well, Muraga, as a real one, Rasile. As a child of God, First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9, it's not something you do not know, but they will tell you in your place of work and say, You know, this way you are addressing what is the matter with you. Uh, don't you know how to do this? Don't you know how to do that? At least uh, your church is not here. When you are going to church, you do like they want you to do. But when you are coming to this place, because you know, working in a bank is uh, a rare opportunity. Don't be careless with this sin. Therefore, do it this way and do it this way. But you know the word of God. And you have said, no, I'm not going to do this because I know what the word of God says very clearly. You will hold on to your professional faith. Oh man, got your wa ninu iwe timothy o kini ori keje ese ikesan o to ma oro olorun to ye po wa nibe nigbati awon eniyan ni bi ise re to ma tin so fun pe o ki nso mo de ba o lo se mura bayi iwo ko nsi se ni le ni le ifowo pa mo o mo bi won ti ma mura to ba mura dada kun won ri o gege bi awon eniyan to ku tun wa ninu aye won o ni foju dada won ni le fi wo ni ru akoko be o gboro ran ti oro olorun ko mo iru idan loju to ni in Philippians chapter 1 verse 27. You were Philippi, Ori, Kini Seketa, Dini Ogma. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Kiki ki esa je ki iwa aye yin ki o ma ri gege bi ihin rere Kristi pe yala bi mo tile wa wo yin tabi bi emi ko si ki emi ki o le ma guro bi e tin se pe eyin duro sin sin ninu emi kan eyin ju ma nji jakad ni tori igbagbo ihin rere pelu okan kan so then we cannot give any excuse because of where I, where i am where i work what my family is we cannot give any excuse that that is the reason we are not standing firm and standing fast. Now we go to the next point. Unfortunately, there was a problem in this church in Pagamos. It was sometimes when you look at a Christian and you see very many good points and you see steadfastness and you see faithfulness and you see that this Christian with all the persecution with everything that you bring against that individual the fellow is standing fast you think that everything is all right, but no, it's not always all right. Nigba ti oba ri Christian kan to ba wo igbe aye re, iduro sisin re, igbagbo re, iru igbe aye ti ru eni be ngbe. Nigba to ba ya to si wa sake si awon nkan miran to wa ninu igbe aye iru eni be, wa ri pe o ngbogbo ku lo dede. You know sometimes when you look at a church and you see that church standing uncompromisingly for the doctrines of the word of God and being very active and doing evangelism and sending people on missions and having a good church and having this and having that and teaching the word of God, having Bible reading on the Monday Bible study and Sunday worship and wanting to cover the Bible, regulating everything by the word of God. You think everything is all right. Everything may not be all right. <laughs> You see, without revelation from Christ, you will think that you are okay, you will think that your church is okay, you will think that everything is all right, there is nothing to correct. There is nothing to repent of. There is nothing to change. There is nothing to transform. There is nothing to adjust. Nipa miran ti o bari fi on ara re tabi jore tabi biaye re wa wepe kosi onko un tu epe oni lo atu se mani no aye mi kosi awon kan tu mo ni lati ro nuku ada ni tori re wa wepe biaye re pe o ti dara tan su mo ngata ba fi fi on han o ni wa to ri awon alebu to siku. Here we here we come to the problem of false doctrine and evil 
association ni lati wa ri isoro ti eko eke ati didara po mo awon egbe buburu look at verse 14 we say kerin la but i have a few things against thee because thou hast them there that hold the doctrine of Balaam who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to cast and to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication sugbo mo ni nkan die ri wi si o nitori ti iwo ni awon ti o die ko ti balamu mu nibe eni ti o ko balaku lati mu ohun ikose wa siwaju awon omo israeli lati ma je ohun ti aparubo si orisa ati lati ma se agbere so also thou hast them that hold the doctrine of the nicolaitans which sin i hate be ni iwo si ni awon ti o gba eko awon nicolaita ni pelu ohun ti mo korira you see in a church like ours ole ri ninu ri ijo wa bayi we stand in a very great danger ani ewu nla kan to ye ko da be ko du ani waju wa any church that wants to grow numerically if that church is not careful it can push on and push on and push on want it to grow want it to grow until you do not know when you begin to compromise nigba ti ijo kan ba nla kaka to si se la la lati dagba soke lati po ni ye ti won si nti si waju ti won nti si waju ti won o ba ki esara igbojege yo wole a church that is always wanting to look for multiplied numbers increased numbers if that church is not careful he'll be very slow now to correct adulterers and the fornicators and the drunkards and the gamblers and the backsliders because you know if you correct them they might run away we might lose them so to keep that number and to keep our number growing large we have to be very careful how we talk to people how we correct people ari pe iru ijobe o dojuko awon isoro wi pe won o nile se iba wi boya bi awon elumiran boya won sagbere tabi won si awon nkan ti ko to o le ko ni fesi anfani fun wa lati se iba wi tori pe bi a ba ba won wi awon to sagbere awon to gbojege awon ti o gbe gbe aye won ni iba mu pelu oro olorun o se se kun won sakro ninu ijo a o si nile po ni iye mo not only that there's a great danger for a church like ours ba kan na la si ri pe wu nla o dojuko iru ijobi ti wa bayi a church that wants all the other pastors of all the other churches the churches at the bad beach the churches in the village the churches in various countries the churches everywhere to love us and accept us and come to what we call church growth conference and to be with us we will not like to offend anybody there's a great danger for such a church the tendencies let's be careful now so we don't offend you know those people that still believe that mary can save you so we don't offend those people that burn candle we don't offend those people that burn incense we don't offend those you know those key leaders and the religious circle that have two wives and three wives and the pastors that are still drinking let's be careful now so because when we were alone by ourselves as deeper life and we were not you know wanting to influence anybody just carry on deeper life work that was all right but now that we want to influence this and influence that we better be careful now what we say and what we preach there's a danger for such a church iru ijo to ye pe o nfe lati ku awon ijo miran mora o le se ko je pe iru awon ijo be o le je awon ijo to ye pe won gbe maria maria mi mo laruge awon ijo miran to ye pe boya ti abela ati turari ni won ni ti won ba kan awon ijo miran to ye pe ni ru awon eko to lodi soro olorun olo wa ni be a le wa ma so fun ara pe e ja ki esara o tori pe ta o ba ki esara nipa awon eko ta nko atawon oro ta nso iru awon eni awon yen won o ni le suma to si wa a o ni le da po pelu won there is danger for the church that where there is no discipline anymore 
agboro ki esarabaka na ninu ijo eto ye pe boya ko si iba wimo where there is no rebuke for the people that commit fornication because you know they have this good talent and this good quality they may be in the choir they may be among our ushers they may be among the schools outreach these talented people and if we lose them what are we going to do so we lessen our standard on marriage we lessen our standard on holiness we lessen our standard on christian living so that we can keep them and they can continue to bless us with their wonderful ministry gifts and talents there is a danger for such a church <laughs> fun awon elomiran boya ton wa ninu ijo o le se se ko ko wa boya laarin awon ton gba su fun awon omo ilewe giga ati arin o si se ninu ijo iru eni be boya pelu gbogbo awon ebun atawon talent ti iru awon eniabe ni pe ta ba ba won wi iru awon ebun ti won ni won o ni le lo won ma ninu ijo awon bes ni te die de a o ni boya mo lati baru awon eniabe we you see that a woman becomes rebellious in the church you see that a woman begins to teach other people you can go and marry whoever you marry we are there in the church will defend you you can go and commit fornication you can go and do this or that they tell them in different ways they may tell them through vision tell them through revelation or tell them through some other methods now the coordinator cannot talk if the coordinator is going to talk wants to hear his sister so and so that advised me to do it his brother so and so that advised me to do it if you are going to talk you cover your mouth you say well uh, they, I'm telling you this privately. You shouldn't have done that. Uh, hey, sister so and so. Uh uh, let's leave sister so and so. She's in a separate class by herself. That's danger for such church. Nimba to buy Japan in me, Joe, Tian will be remunerated to my beer around Wakali, Latima, Daria, and Wayne, only Lost Pay, I will buy you, only Lost Shebai, only Lost Shetong, to us in one way, the Latin Beg, the Ayan, one, or Toto, the city of Loro, who are to buy the Peru and Wayne, to one Toso, to one Dari, one Sia, one Cotti, who borrow a lot of more, ye, one month of my pay, Arab Riba, Lonikin Shebe, Arab Riba, Lonikin Shebe, who are so full one way in a bay, Nitara Bin, your field, a second, Sukman Cotto say, Irun Kambe, Kuda, you are Arab Bin. Leadership is a very serious thing. Leadership is a difficult responsibility. Some of you are leaders in your district church or in any local church. Leadership is a lonely kind of is a lonely kind of life. You are going to offend people if you are a good leader. Those people that like to commit fornication, that like to walk carelessly, when you take your stand and say, This is what I know from the Bible. This is the way this thing is going to go. They are going to abuse you. They are going to say you are, you know, this or that. You are aggressive. You are, they are going to even abuse you. Some of them are going to come directly to you to tell you to your face that they don't accept your leadership. Leadership is a great responsibility. If you are not ready for that abuse, if you are not ready for that insult, if you are not ready for the misunderstanding, if you are not ready even to be, uh, to be stoned and to be crushed and to be crucified and for everybody to say, well, it's Say too hard is this and that you cannot be a leader. Lati Gia Dari O Jen Cause we pay O Le Pan Yepe and Well Lumiron one one in me John Pema Big Bay one but you want so bang at your back when Lati Baru and Way in a bear way one bueno at you all one sort of this year I want Murati a good boy a lot of do you call more soft more logical do we pay in what to say bye bye you room come back with Dara Nima to Basile Drook your do you call one if you have a one you do you call the bear People like freedom and liberty. They like to talk the way they want. They like to go and marry whoever they want to marry. They like to live careless life. They don't want anybody to say anything or preach anything that will correct their dressing. And if you are going to be a preacher, if you are going to be a leader, whether in the local church, district church, or anywhere you better before you start that ministry of being a pastor know that if you are going to be a preacher you are going to have the hatred of people that matter and the people that once they speak against you you become unpopular if you are not ready for that you are not in the ministry and so you did that in this church of 
Pagamos. Dorina Adari Joto and the Pagamu. He saw the people committing fornication. Ori and Wayne at one see Agberi. And he saw those people that were teaching them to eat things sacrificed to idols. Oh, see, Ria, what is so far? Well, you know, come again, can't you have to rub us here? No rebuke. Could see, but we. No correction. No way of preaching in a stunning manner to tell them to repent. There were even the people that held on to the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. And Jesus said, I hate it. It shouldn't be in the church. Are you see, the Lord is still telling us the same thing in this. Church. Our having church growth conference does not close our eyes to the truth of the Bible. Whoever will come, will come. Whoever will go, will go stand on the teaching of the word of God. The word of God makes us to understand. You see, the flesh likes to be petted and pampered and praised and appreciated and excused as well. That that adultery, that fornication, we know it is the flesh. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. They like preachers that will tolerate them and accept them and patch them up and manage them. If you are going to stand on the word of God, that's the only time you are faithful unto the Lord who has called you. See, if you feel a bad year. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to, to decline, after many to rest or to twist, to distort judgment. Exodus chapter 23, in Matthew chapter 7, reading from verse 15. Matthew, Ori Keje, SAK, Dogun. Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Matthew, Ori Keje, SAK, Dogun. And you know, these are the words of Jesus Christ. And here is the head of the church. Ni, Lassere, Olori, John. Telling those of us who want to be on the side of the Lord, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but in what lay their ravening wolves now here jesus christ said you don't accommodate every preacher you don't come into agreement with every preacher everywhere you see the tendency of those who talk about you know wanting all these associations of ministers and want to do this and want to do that is to forget about false doctrine even if you recognize false doctrine if you recognize things that are, you don't talk about it so that you can bring everybody to together and we can be united and you know we can have all this our church growth and you know meeting and to be a wonderful thing Jesus said beware of false prophets the kind of church growth conference Jesus wants is for you to call those people together, tell them the word of God as it is in the word of God, without fear, without favor, without modification, without watering it down, tell it as it is, so that when the trumpet shall sound, nobody will accuse you, you never told them. What if you say that and they don't come again? The church God has given you is enough uh, strengthening the things that remain that are ready to die. 
In Matthew chapter 16 verse 6. Matthew ori kerin din ogun ese ikefa. Matthew chapter 16 verse 6. Matthew ori kerin din ogun ese ikefa. Then Jesus said unto them take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Nigba na ni Jesus wi fun wa pe e ki esara ki esi ma sora ni ti wukara awon Pharisee ati ti awon Sadducee. In verse 12 then understood they how that he bade them not to beware of the leaven of bread in the physical that you eat. But of the doctrine of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Ni ese ike jila. Ni ba na ni oto ye wakpe ki ise wukara ti akara. Ti o wipe ki wakki oki e sarare. Sugma eko ti awan Pharisee. Adi ti awan Sadducee. First Corinthians chapter 5. Corinthians kini ori ikarun. Reading from verse 1. Ki awkala ti ese ikarun. First Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1. It is reported commonly among you that there is fornication and such fornication as is not so much named among the Gentiles that one should have his father's wife. Now we, we don't know why they didn't deal with this individual in the church at Corinth. But you know in the church in which we are today, if somebody commits adultery or fornication, well, if the person has no talent, has no gift, has no ministry, has no responsibility, it is easy to discipline that person. The person doesn't have any, uh, you know, any pillar somewhere, any defendant somewhere, anyone that will say, why did you do that to him? The fellow is just a poor fellow, low member of the church that has no money, has no talent, has no education, has uh, no prestige, has no position, has nothing at all. He commits fornication, you discipline him, no problem. The problem comes and gossips multiply when somebody that appears to have talent and give and ministry and influence and backbone and pillars and supporters and defendants and this and that and money and profession commits fornication and you say this is the word of God the axe is laid to the root of the tree and therefore you apply that axe of discipline then gossips begin to multiply when you discipline a fellow that has nothing and knows nobody nobody talks Nibati any combawa to ni talenti to low to low lubeja to la lati lay to ruin very genial patakita but jog ma to bawa ninu jo to ba baru eni yan be we awon eni ya di de duro oni ru ru awon oro di o di ati oro egan la awon eni o ma so sugba to ba je ti o lo lugbeja ti o leni kokan ti o ni talent ni ko si isoro kokan to ma dojuko and you see coordinator that is the thing that weakens your hand because when you discipline those people that have no defenders nobody said anything but the day you touched uh, you know that person everybody began to talk against you write to the pastor against you tell lies against you and will you know malign you Caught you, criticize you, you say, Well, I will never discipline anybody anymore. As long as you are co a coordinator, as long as the devil in the world, as long as there are people yielding to the devil and backsliding, you will keep on disciplining people. They will abuse you more, they will gossip against you more, but that is the yoke you accepted when you became a coordinator. <laughs> เนี่ยเสกเกรีนในนามของพระเจ้าเยซูคริสต์ 
when ye are gathered together and my spirit with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, verse 5, to deliver such an one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Li oruko Jesu Christi oluwa wa, ni ba te yin bakpe jo ati e mi mi, pe luwa gbara Jesu Christi oluwa wa, ki e fi ru eni abe le satani lo wo fun iparun ara ki a le gba emi la le ojo jesu oluwa well we know what the bible says be faithful unto the end and you'll have the crown of life am on kan ti bi be le so fun wa je olohun to de opin o si gba de ye now the next point is that christ told this church that now they needed to repent o mira ti oluwa tun wa so fun ijo eni pe won ni lo lati ronuku wada in revelation chapter 2 verse 16 iwe ifin ha ori ikeji ese ikerin din lo Repent or else I will come unto thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. says you can repent now and then my sword will cut you away from your sin. But if you don't repent, then the sword will cut you away from God eternally. You'll spend eternity in hell fire, in suffering, away separated from God. And the last point is the promise of God to those who appear in heart. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Jesus said this message is not only for the church in Pagamos, it's to the churches, all the churches. He said, He that has an ear, let him hear. I thought everybody has ears. God created ears for everybody, but for some people, Satan has stolen their ears away. Allah wrote that it's if you go in here, Lori Lia, yes, for some people the ears are still there and Satan has blocked it that they will not hear the voice of the shepherd for some people it is their own free will volition from the inside that deliberately close their ears and they said I know the word is there I know Christ is wanting to talk to me I know the messengers of Christ are trying to turn me in the right direction, but deliberately, with rebellion and stubbornness, they block their own ears of their own free will. For some other people, it is their relative, their husband, telling them, don't listen to them, don't listen to them. Or it is their wives telling them, don't hear what they're saying, don't listen to them. And when you say that constantly, consistently, over and over, you block your wife's ear, you block your husband's ear, that your husband, your wife is never going to hear. For some people, it is because of those who are around them. Anytime we hear some serious word like this, they'll be making fun of every. Don't, don't, don't listen to them. That's how they talk. They, they have no sympathy. They don't understand. They don't do this. It is because of what those things that have been said that will block their ears. And and they will not hear. But Jesus says, if you are still there, Satan has not stolen your ear. Satan has not blocked your ears. Osman wife has not blocked your ears. Your own free will has not blocked your ears. All the friends, the people you surround yourself with, they have not blocked your ears. And you have ears to hear. He that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. <laughs> Sometimes 
Oluwa nso fun wa pe eni to ba ni eti ki o gbo nti emi nso fun ijo If you don't have an ear to hear him now you will not have an ear to hear the trumpet when he sounds the trumpet for the rapture So ba leti lati gbo bo se nba osoro baye o ni ni eti lati gbo ohun ipe eti yo fun nigbati a o ba gba awon ayan fe so ke To him that overcometh I will give to eat of the hidden manna and will give him a white stone and it is stone a new name written which no man knoweth except he that receiveth it eni ti o ba segun li emi o fi manna ti o pa mo fun je emi o si fun li okuta funfun kan ati sara okuta na oruko titun ti a o ko si ti eni keni ko mo bi ko se eni ti o gba there is a great reward waiting for the overcomer that's the reason we're studying the Bible. By the grace of God, we will be overcomers. I said we will be overcomers. And then he says he's going to give us a particular reward. He's going to give us that white stone. It's the white stone that shows that you are not going to pass through the judgment again. Christ has borne your judgment for you. Now you are acquitted. You are discharged. Now you can come to the presence of God and he will give you a name a name that is written that no angel has ever born no angel has ever carried and that name will be specially for you I'm waiting for that day how about you o si so fun pe oyin o fun wa ni okuta funfun kan okuta funfun ye oni yo fi won wi pe o ti koja lati nu ikubo si iye wi pe o ti pin ya pelu idajo ati ibinu aye raye pakana lo so pe won o fun wa ni oruko kan e to je pe angel iko ti le mo ti won ko mo nkan kan nipa re o si nro deru ojo ologo bayi is there a revelation god has made to you today the life is not in conformity with the word of God. He wants you to be conformed to his image. He wants repentance from you. A total change of direction. A total change of lifestyle. And all the excuses we have been given, we stop to give them. I say, oh Lord, have mercy upon me. I want to be conformed to the image of Christ. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer. It's calling you and calling me to set fastness. That you will not allow the devil to block your ears. You will not allow anything to stop you from this world. You will not allow even your own free will to block your ears from hearing the word of God. You will not allow personal selfish ambition to make you go astray you will stand on the unchanging word of God you need to pray we who are leaders we should be able to stand all the abuse all the insult and all the criticism people have against you people will abuse you to your face I'm you you they don't like the way you are preaching they don't like the way you are leading in the church you will hear what they say about you it is Christ who are called you be faithful unto death and he will give you a crown of life let us stand on the truth of the word of God and by the grace of God we will not compromise we will not exalt a talent a gift an ability that somebody is demonstrating more than holiness more than purity of life let us stand Stand on the truth of the word of God. If there is adultery, rebuke there. If there is fornication, rebuke there. If they repent, then you give them the word of the Lord, the promise of the Lord. If they don't repent, they will perish. Except you repent, you shall likewise perish. Let us emphasize the word of God. These are the last days. Many people are changing. 
deep and the people are going their way. Yes, so we have come on. back to the standard, to the centrality of the standard of the word of God. Never caring what they say, never caring about their gossip. Stand on the world. Stand on the world. Abandon false doctrine. If you have been compromising, repent. If you have been compromising, repent. If you have been ganging up with some people, careless people against your leader and your district, repent. Let us come to the center of the will and the word of God. If you are still a sinner, you need to be born again today. If you are a backslider, you need to be restored today. If you have been gossiping and abusing and insulting and living a careless life, you need to repent today. Then this church remain a pure church. Let this church remain a pure church. Let this church remain a pure church. Let this church remain a pure church. So that we will be overcomers. And then the Lord will give us a wonderful reward on the last day. The Lord will give us a wonderful reward on the last day.